So this is the beginner's toolkit. Um, it's designed to get you through the initial processes of marking out and cutting metal when you're starting out in uh, like silver jewelry. What you get is uh, an adjustable saw frame. So this lets you pop in your saw blades here and you use this to adjust the, this old fella here, to adjust the tension of the blades, um, which is great, so this should go so you're going to need one of those for cutting your metal. It also comes with a gross of uh, grade 2 saw blades, that's 144 blades, you know, sometimes you just have bad days and you use tons of them, um, so it'll see you in good stead for a while. This grade is ideal for 0.6 to 0.8 millimeter sheet silver, sheet metal, um, obviously you can go outside those ranges but that's the ideal one so they're a good standard blade to keep uh, in stock in your work shop bench studio wherever you are you've also got a scriber um, nice tough so this is perfect for marking out where you're going to cut or mark or whatever you're doing on your sheet you need one of these this will be on your workbench permanently you get um, three needle files, I think they're grade two, uh, so they're sort of good general um, grade. This one's a safety back, so it's got a smooth back uh, and a file front so you won't damage uh, an inside surface when you're using it, it's handy. You've got a half round, which uh, very useful, particularly when you're working on rings by any sides, and a pillar file, which again is one of the things that's always on my workbench. Um, or a flat profile file, you always be using these guys. You've got a six inch ruler in our studios, we've got lots of different um, people who work in lots of different mediums and these are the most stolen item in the whole studios, whether you are printing or doing jewellery. So <laughs> keep a couple of these around, they're brilliant. This one's got, I just looked, it's got a conversion table on the back and everything. Um, but very handy just for, again, measuring and marking out on your sheet. Two kinds of pliers, they're sort of no frills, just do the job. You've got a, what's that one? It's a chain nose plier and a flat nose plier, so good for tiny fiddly pliering. This one, I like this just because of the scale. It's a tiny jobbing hammer. Um, it's quite sweet, isn't it? So yeah, you could use it for riveting or tiny hammering or whatever other little tiny hammering jobs you do. Or you could get, I don't know, a small child. Don't get a small child in your workshop, I don't think it's allowed. Um, yes, tiny jobbing <laughs> hammer. Yay! You train your pet. And you've got two emery files here. There's one that's, um, I think this feels, I, I, sorry, I haven't looked this up, I should have. Feels like a medium grit, and this is super fine. It's almost swelly. So good. I mean, you're going to be able to do everything you need. When I'm starting making out a new piece, so I'm making a ring, you need to mark out your metal, which you can do, cut it, which you can do, um, and file it. So this is brilliant for all the basics. Obviously, uh, it doesn't cover soldering, but you can get separate kits for that. Um, it's a bit of a bargain, really. Um, I really wish that I'd had something like this while I was doing my sort of my very first uh, classes or first starting out, rather than buying all of it separately. Because it really is. This just will cover all your basics. You know, if you're on a on a budget, and you, you're just starting out, and you don't really want to spend a, a ton of cash um, getting kitted out. It's it's a really good buy. And I say all of these things you will use. There's nothing you're going to sort of oh, this, is, this is kind of useless. They're all workshop essentials, so a, a good purchase.